So we're studying Felix Gonzalez Torres this week. And part of the reason is because his artwork, even though he passed away um, in the 1990s, is getting a lot of attention. People are revisiting it because they're making parallels between Felix Gonzalez Torres and what's happening uh, with the coronavirus epidemic. And I want to explain why that is. So Felix Gonzalez Torres in the 1980s experienced as a member of the gay community in New York a lot of prejudice. And I want you to imagine that in the 80s, when I was young, um, people were afraid that being gay was the reason why you could get AIDS. So imagine today if, if people thought that your um, sexual preference caused a virus. It's hard to believe, but it's true. And right now the coronavirus is all over all over the world, right? So whether you want to or not, you have to pay attention. But during the AIDS epidemic in the 1980s, around 1985, it was isolated, people were dying, but in uh, GBLTQ plus communities. So it's something that was a little bit easier to ignore. Now the artwork of the week is untitled, but in quotes, uh, Felix Gonzalez Torres put Portrait of Ross. Ross was Felix's partner, and Ross died of AIDS. And what Felix Gonzalez Torres did was he made a memorial, which is a piece of artwork in remembrance, that was a pile of candy. They're candy that are very similar to Jolly Ranchers. And that art piece weighs the exact same amount that the ideal body weight for us would have been. And as people see it in museums, I've seen it in collectors, uh, houses, I've it's every, there's multiple versions of these pieces, of this particular piece around the world. Anyway, they all start out weighing the same amount, and you can take a piece of candy, a handful of candy, you can rearrange it if you want to, um, and every day it's weighed in the morning to make sure it goes back to that ideal body weight. The symbolism is that as Russ, Ross, was losing weight, his sweetness was disappearing, right? It's a way of showing illness, living with illness, and talking about an issue, but in kind of a passive way. So very few people would look at a pile of candy and feel threatened, right? But they might feel a little bit on edge if you're like, hey, I want to talk about this very serious topic. And so Felix Gonzalez's work, it really throws people off because they're not sure what to make of it at first. It could be a pile of piece of paper. It could be a strand of lights. He's using very ordinary objects to talk about things that are extremely hard to talk about. And so this week, what I'd like you to do is to make what's called a conceptual piece of artwork. Conceptual means that the idea gets more attention than the object itself. So I want you to make a piece of art that is edible, essentially, made out of some kind of food. Or I want you to make a piece of artwork that looks like it's food but is inedible, that you can't actually eat it. Good luck, and um, I will see you again soon.